guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Ursula Bailey and on this channel we talk all about the exploration of consciousness if astral projection lucid dreaming or spirituality in general is your thing then feel free to hit the subscribe button now today's video is all about the black-eyed people this was an astral experience I had fairly recently and I know you guys love to hear about my personal experiences so I thought this one would be fun to share Okay, so a few days ago I was doing my morning meditation and usually I kind of like to switch up my techniques and I just use whatever feels good in the moment and on that particular morning I was doing some visualization. Now I've mentioned before that I'm not mm, super amazing at visualization but I do find that when I incorporate the feeling of movement or when I incorporate uh, sound imagining sound that it really helps me to build a visual image one of my favorite things to visualize is roller skating it's something i'm really familiar with in the physical and i love that it's got a lot of movement and speed and i find that really easy to imagine so as i'm doing this i'm kind of relaxing down into that super meditative state where you're kind of balancing on the edge of consciousness and unconsciousness and it was during this state that i realized that i had started to phase into the scene and I was roller skating towards a dark tunnel so I skate into the tunnel and then suddenly everything goes black and I feel like I'm back in my body I'm back in my meditative position but I'm in the vibration state so by this time I have regained full conscious awareness but at the same time I'm kind of just relaxing into it and letting the intensity of those vibrations increase and then suddenly I felt a hand on either one of my wrists. Each hand felt soft, it felt warm. To me they felt like human hands and they were pulling me out of body. So at first that sensation of being lifted out of my body was very gentle and then after I had kind of made the shift I found myself zooming straight up into the air. Now one of the things that kind of never gets old for me is going fast. <laughs> I love going fast and especially when I am astral traveling I love to fly fast I usually do kind of like a Dragon Ball Z-esque launch upwards into the air but this was really fun because I, it was it was effortless I was doing nothing I was just being pulled and we were going at such an intense speed and I was kind of communicating with these beings saying thank you this is so much fun and just kind of uh, sharing gratitude with them but at this stage my vision had not come in yet so I was still seeing everything as black and I began to work on that by requesting vision the way I did this was I called out clarity now and my vision started to clear suddenly everything became super super sharp and I was super present in that moment I was so high up in the sky by that point that I could actually not see anything below me apart from clouds and when I looked down my stomach actually did a little somersault it was kind of because I was so present in that moment that it was kind of like oh I'm up really high as I looked down I could see two pairs of feet on either side and that's when I looked up to see the beings that were holding me so these beings were about half my size they were slender in build one was male and one was female and they had a large almond shaped eyes that were completely black other than that these beings seemed quite humanoid to me they had very human facial features and skin tone they were wearing quite bright but mismatched clothing and we were communicating telepathically but they were not speaking to me in a way where I was hearing the words it was more just we were sharing understanding and I'm quite familiar with this way of communicating it is quite common in the astral so they were actually asking me to ground myself a little bit uh, the intensity of my emotional state was a little bit much for them so I was trying to kind of pull back a little bit but they ended up letting me go and I floated back down to the earth and I found myself back in the vibration state so I find myself back in that meditative position and just a few moments later I feel the hands around my wrists again they lift me back out of body when my vision came back in I found myself in what I can only describe as like a dimly lit cellar 
uh, I'm not sure if that's what it was, but that's kind of how it felt. It felt like I was underground and the whole room was reinforced by what looked like timber, only it was gold and it was, it kind of had like a glow to it. So I'm in this kind of underground room and I'm kind of taking in my surroundings and then I see another black eyed being, but this guy looks crazy familiar to me. And at the time, the feeling was that he was my brother. And it feels weird saying that now that I'm back in the physical reality, but I felt so connected to this being and it almost felt like a reunion and I was calling him my brother as well. Keep in mind that I'm fully conscious, I'm fully aware, but it was like I had opened a box of memories that were not accessible to me from my human existence. So I'm hugging my brother and we're kind of having this reunion, but at the same time he's asking me telepathically if I can rein it in a little bit because my emotional energy was too intense for him. So the next thing I know, I see another black eyed being and this guy seems kind of angry. He's telling me that I can't be there and that I need to leave. And I also noticed that he was wearing an apron and at this time I still hadn't worked out where I was. So I was thinking maybe he's a chef, am I in like a restaurant? I go with him up the stairs and I'm kind of in this large platform area. The whole thing, again, is made out of this gold timber that's glowing and he takes me to the door and he makes me leave. So I step out into this huge city and these black eyed beings are just everywhere. They're all busy going about their day and I'm kind of trying to stop some of them or chat to some of them, trying to get some information, but everybody's kind of just so busy. There was one dude I found and I started to have a little conversation with him. I told him I was astral traveling. He was asking me questions about it. He was also asking me questions about my reality and we were kind of going back and forth telepathically. He seemed quite interested that I was astral traveling and I did want to ask him more and get more information, but I started to feel myself being urged back. So I told him that I'm going to have to go soon. And then the last interesting thing that happened was that I saw a woman who looked about my age and she had blue eyes, which I noticed right away because by that time I had been there for what felt like quite a while and I had only seen these beings with big black eyes. She was kind of taking in this reality system and we did have a conversation. She told me that she is human. She told me that she was astral projecting as well and she was, like I was, in awe by this whole new reality system. So I went to ask for her name, thinking that maybe I could find her when I got back. But by this time, the urge was just too strong. I couldn't fight it anymore and I ended up snapping back to the physical. I think the most interesting part of this astral experience was the interaction I had with the being who felt like my brother. That level of recognition was just so intense, I've never felt anything like it before. I have had a few people suggest to me that these beings could have been grey hybrids, which I can see as an interesting possibility. They did seem quite grey-like in their energy, they were very analytical and they were also very sensitive to those high levels of emotion, which I've never experienced in an astral being before. So I don't know, I might have to go back there and see if I can get some more information. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think that these entities could have been grey hybrids? If not, what's your interpretation? I would love to hear your thoughts. So that is my first ever encounter with the black eyed beings. If you enjoy watching these more personal experiences that I've had within the astral, please let me know in the comments and that will let me know whether I should keep making more videos like this or whether I should just continue with teaching you guys how to achieve these experiences yourself. If you are already astral projecting, I would love to know if you've ever encountered the black eyed beings and what you made of them. Other than that, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell as well and that way you will always be notified whenever I release new content. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you so, so much. Happy travels and we'll talk again soon.